Well, our biggest challenge is this. Singapore is always an improbable nation. I mean, we are so tiny and with no natural resources and you would never even have thought, you would not have bet on Singapore in 1965. You would not expect Singapore to survive, uh, but we did. It's nothing short of our miracle. So our challenge is to sustain this little miracle called Singapore for as long as possible. My vivid impression of this is when I was a student at Michigan. In Michigan, there is a ghost town called Singapore. <laughs> it's by Lake Michigan near the Kalamazoo ri River. It was founded in the 1830s. No one knows why it's called Singapore, but presumably, <laughs> presumably, because Singapore was founded by the British as a British port in 1819. And very quickly, we became a thriving port for the British. Perhaps word had spread from the exotic Far East, there was something called Singapore, mm -hmm. and you know how it takes time to for news to travel in those days. So in the 1830s, someone decided to set up a town in Michigan, and it was a shipbuilding and lumber port. And it did well for a while, but after 50 years, the shifting sand dunes swallowed up the town. And if you go there now, you can only see a signpost that says, these are the ruins of Singapore. <laughs> um, so Singapore and Michigan didn't last for very long, about 50 years. Uh, our mission is to make Singapore and Southeast Asia last for a very long time. Much longer. Yeah. <laughs>